All right, welcome to another episode of C's Backyard Bees. It is spring, so that means we are doing three things right now. The first thing that we are doing is monitoring um, hive population because we are watching out for swarms. Um, and then we are also playing this game of when do we add our honey supers. So our spring flow is just beginning. We're starting to see flowers. We're starting to see trees starting to bloom. Um, so we know that they are probably pulling in some natural nectar. Um, with that though, we are still feeding and typically I feed in the spring until we start adding on those supers. So we're monitoring bee population. We are feeding if they don't have a super, if they're not ready for a super yet. And the last piece is we are doing our spring mite treatment. So today we are going to add, we're, first we're going to look at the population. Last time we looked at it, they had about three frames in the second deep full of bees. So we're starting to see if that is growing. And then we are going to treat them, and I am treat, treating them with Apigard, um, which is mainly thymol is your primary ingredient. And this is super easy to treat with. You just have some temperature um, variations that you have to deal with. So. Your minimum daily high temperature needs to be 60 degrees and it needs to be less than 90 degrees. So that makes it prime for early spring and late fall, um, but not so great during your summer months. So we are treating with that for this spring. Um, so what I'm going to do is add a little level, um, a little box. This was my um, sugar board box for the winter and I just took off my queen excluder so this will give them a little bit of room to be able to get around the thymol um, and then I'm gonna still use my um, inner cover and my super to be able to internally feed them so let's get suited up and let's get into this hive in order to do those three things check for see how the population is going put the thymol in and then feed them as well. So just like always when I'm getting into the hive, you don't know what their temperament is going to be. Maybe the queen has died since the last time been in them. And when your queen has died, that means that they are a lot more temperamental than usual. So I always suit up when I'm going farther than the inner cover. Um, also treating them sometimes causes some um, anger as well so it says not to open your hive for um, 24 48 hours after you treat them so we are going to make sure that we don't do that so just unloading this and this hive is just bursting with bees they're coming straight out of the top of this inner cover and as i open it up these friends have reproduce greatly so I'm going to put that thymol in there and then I'm going to want to look at how these bees are doing here and probably this weekend just to see if they are thinking about splitting because they're at the point that they're going to need a little more room and I can start boosting up these weaker hives as well so I'm just going to put the thymol right here in the middle and it's going to kind of anger some of them. And then once I have that treatment in, we are going to put this on top. Just gives them a little more room. And how this treatment works is they're just going to in fact, I'm not going to feed them. They have so many bees and so much, they must be getting some natural pollination. So I am going to just move this thymol right in the middle. And what bees do is naturally, they, they pull out anything that does not belong in their hive. So they're gonna be taking that thymol, emptying that tray, and getting that thymol between all those frames killing those mites so we are going to leave it just like that leave the super off for now and close it up so 
that is all we need to do with this one. So their population is great. They are treated. We're going to leave them for two days. I'm going to come back. It is currently Monday. I'm going to come back on Thursday with these friends and do kind of like a full check. How many of these deeps are full? Did they get through that whole thymol? Because you need to leave it in there until it's completely gone is what your directions say with it. So that is it for this video. If you like what you see, subscribe, comment if you have any questions below, and I will see you next time.